Hi guys! Happy Sunday, happy rainy, kind of dreary Sunday out there. Um, thanks for tuning in. My name is Beatrix and I am your independent Thermomix consultant out here in Vancouver, BC. Super excited to be a part of the trade show once again. Um, yesterday I came on live and uh, talked a little bit about what I do. So as I mentioned, I am a independent consultant and what I do is uh, I provide in-home virtual <laughs> cooking experiences with my wonderful sous chef right here. Uh, so this is a 20 in one smart home kitchen appliance. Think of all of your different kitchen appliances that you have in your house, your blender, your food processor, your uh, immersion blender, um, let's see, rice cooker, egg boiler, um, KitchenAid stand mixer, hmm, there's so many different things, slow cooker, uh, and our lovely 20 in one uh, kitchen appliance here will basically replace all of those appliances. Uh, it makes cooking a breeze, it makes baking a breeze, um, and it saves you money, saves you time. So uh, please do check out yesterday's live because I talked a little bit about uh, the functions of the TM6. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually show you how to make mac and cheese from scratch. So this one takes a little bit of time. So Hopefully uh, you can tune in during the entire process um, and I've pre-measured and I have pre-cooked a few of the ingredients just because um, I, I cannot be on here for 25 minutes. So um, let me switch my camera around on us here. Alrighty, here we go. So this here is our TM6 and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for our ingredients or sorry, our recipe in our integrated um, digital cookbook and you have access to over 60,000 recipes with uh, the TM6, which is amazing. And you can meal prep and you can do your shopping lists, so many different things. So um, I have created my meal plan for today and we are going to be doing mac and cheese right here. I've also got boiled pasta in here because I actually cooked my pasta in here previously. So this here is my bowl of macaroni ready to go. It took 10 minutes of boiling the water and then about 8 to 10 minutes to cook the pasta. So super easy. Um, and then, so we're now going to do this here. So we're going to click on our recipe. And here we go, we're gonna follow our guided cooking. So we're gonna hit start cooking and it tells us to cook our elbow macaroni, which I have already done. So I'm just gonna hit the next button and I have already drained and rinsed it in my Varoma dish. So the Varoma dish is something that your TM6 will come with. Um, it is this dish here, it sits on top of the lid and it also acts as a strainer. So I just poured the macaroni into there and strained it over the sink and then rinsed it. Super easy. So I'm gonna hit my next button. I've also got the oven preheating. So if you can read instructions, you can do this. Anybody can do this. So I'm gonna place my mac or, so I'm gonna place my cheddar cheese in here. I'm gonna do half the recipe since I've already created half. Uh, it's got a built-in scale, so it's gonna tell me exactly how much I've got ready, or I'm putting it into the bowl. So here's my uh, cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm a little bit under my four ounce. Oops, no, I messed a piece. There we go, 3.9 ounces. And we're gonna hit the next button. I'm gonna put in half an ounce of Parmesan. And again, I've just cubed it. So you don't even have to sit there grating your cheese, which uh, you will see in a moment. Oopsie, too much. No, that's cheddar. <laughs> Hang on here. I just added too much cheese. That's okay. It all gets added anyways. Um, there we go, half the ounces. Uh, we're gonna hit the next button. We're gonna add the lid on top. I'm trying to do this one-handed, you guys, so bear with me. And you're gonna notice it's gonna grate the cheese in five seconds. I don't think I could hand grate in five seconds the amount and the way it does this. So speed eight, it's a little loud. Tells us when we're done and you're just gonna see exactly how well this um, appliance here grates our cheese. Like I said, I would not be able to grate the cheese like this in five seconds. <laughs> so um, what does it tell us to do? It tells us to hit the next button and we're going to sprinkle the cheese over the macaroni in the casserole. So we're just gonna put that in there. Most of it came out. I'm just gonna 
turn this around here so you guys can see how I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna use my spatula and I'm just going to scrape out the cheese. And I'm not even going to um, rinse the bowl because we're just gonna do more grating of cheese here in a second. Don't be afraid to use your fingers either. So we're just gonna spread this out. It's a little bit clumped together from the cheddar. I do recommend taking it fresh out of the fridge because if it gets warm, it gets a little bit clunky, but that's okay. All right, now, next step. We are going to hit the next button right there. We're gonna place the Emmental cheese, so the, the Swiss cheese. Um, I have already uh, pre-cut it as well, but you can see we're just going to use big chunks like this. It's gonna go in. We got four ounces, 3.9. And then we're gonna add the rest of the Parmesan cheese that. Oops, too much. <laughs> Oh well, it's gonna be a cheesy macaroni. <laughs> um, all right, we're hitting the next button. Insert the measuring cup. We are going to do a little bit more grating here. Seven seconds, speed eight. Let me switch my camera around here. Take this off. Hello to everybody that is watching. Thank you for tuning in. So here we go. We got more cheese that we're gonna put on top. So our display tells us to sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top of our macaroni. So we're just going to get that out. Here we go. Spread it out evenly. We are gonna mix this around. So don't worry about it not being exactly even. I'm gonna put the bowl back on. All right, so there's our um, cheesy macaroni. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sprinkle the cheese. We've done that now. Oops, gotta go get my milk. You could use a dairy-free alternative as well. You don't have to use dairy milk. So I'm just going to put in half of what it tells me there. So as I do this, I'm just gonna watch the scale. I'm gonna go 13 sec ounces. And we're gonna go nice and slow. Whoops, we're off by an ounce, but that again is okay. Okay, we're gonna hit the next button. We're gonna add our flour. You can again use a gluten-free flour if you want. Yesterday I made uh, a different, uh, about three different kinds of uh, flours in our Thermomix, so you can also make your own flour and use that. Uh, and we're gonna add a little bit of butter. So, about three, a half, one and a half ounces of butter. Let's see here. One ounce. And again, you can also make your own butter. It takes about five minutes and you need 600 milliliters of whipping cream. You can make your own butter in, like I said, five minutes. Okay, hit the next button. We're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna make a truffled macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to add um, a little bit of truffle salt. Makes it that much better. You know what, I'm just going to sprinkle it over. All right, so a little bit of truffle salt. There we go. And a little bit of Tabasco, that is optional. You do not have to add Tabasco if you don't want to. But if you want a bit of a kick, Feel free to add a couple of drops of Tabasco or a different kind of hot sauce. And then we're gonna add our measuring cup on top and our lid. And this is now gonna go for 10 minutes because it's gonna thicken the milk. Oops, actually, let me just go back one more second. I didn't see what speed, so speed four. So I'm gonna turn my knob to speed four and that's gonna cook for 10 minutes. So while this cooks for 10 minutes, what I thought I would show you is uh, the integrated cookbook that you have access to uh, for free with, uh, for six months, for the first six months um, of your appliance. And then after that, uh, you pay a subscription, which I believe is around $50 for, um, like I said, an access to about 
60,000 recipes or so in different languages. So let's show you how this works. Let's type in chicken. So this integrated cookbook is called Cook I Do. And you can see that if I type in the word chicken, it comes up with 1,105 results. So all of your cookbook recipes, this is the biggest, largest um, digital cookbook in the world. This syncs directly to your TM6. So if, let's say, I'm wanting to make... Mm, chicken curry with spinach for dinner tonight or tomorrow or a week from now uh, I would click on this and I would say oops I gotta log in here and I would say I want to cook that today and then through the Wi-Fi it syncs it to the display here where you have access to the recipes um, if you don't want to make it today, you can add it to your meal plan. So let's say we're going to add it here. You can bookmark it for later. You can add it to your recipe collections. Uh, you can add it to your week and you can add it to your shopping list. So let's say I want to add it to my week and I'm going to cook this on Tuesday as an example. I would just pick Tuesday the 8th and then I would add that. And you can go up here to my week. By clicking on my week, you can see exactly what that it's gone into my meal plan for the week. So uh, with the TM6, meal planning is so much easier. Um, you can also, let's say you're at work and the kids are at home and you want the kids to start dinner, you can uh, plan this out at work, let's say, and then send a quick message to the kids and say, hey, you know, it's four o'clock, let's get dinner started. They, as long as they can read and they're safe around appliances, uh, they can start it for you. Um, so yeah, just as an example, so let's click on here and see what this recipe looks like. It gives you the ingredients. First of all, it tells you how the difficulty, easy, medium, or hard, preparation time, total cooking time, and then serving portions. So if you want to divide this in half, you would just have to, uh, add half the ingredients as you're cooking. Um, and then also it has some useful items, also hints and tips here. So if you don't, you know, if it says if all the spinach doesn't fit, add two thirds and then stir, then add the remaining. So lots of different um, ideas here. Um, this is a great recipe because not only are you cooking the curry in your Thermomix, but you're also then cooking the rice. So everything is made in one appliance. Um, I mentioned a shopping list. So I'm gonna add this now to my shopping list because let's say I don't have all my ingredients. So if I add this to my shopping list, it goes here. Now I can go through my shopping list, either by category or by recipe, and say what I have and I don't have, and then remove things. So let's say um, I have basmati rice. I'm just gonna either check it off here or click on the word, and it's removed it from my shopping list. Uh, I have chicken thighs in the freezer, removed. I have chili powder. I have just bought coconut milk, so we're good there. I've got sea salt. I don't have ginger, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, I don't have spinach, oh, I do have spinach. Uh, I don't have garam masala, and also just on that note, you can make a variety of spices in your Thermomix as well. So you can make uh, fresh garam masala, you can make madras curry powder, you can make, um, um, let's see, you can make chicken stock paste, beef stock paste, vegetable stock paste, um, hi Brenda. You've got garlic here. Let's take the garlic off. I've got cumin. I've got turmeric. I have olive oil. I do not have onions. Sorry, I have onions. Um, I have flour. I don't have yogurt. I'm going to take that off there. Take that off. I don't have yogurt. I do not have chopped tomatoes. <laughs> I do have water. So we're going to take that off our list. And now... Uh, let's say we're going to go back, find some more options for cooking this week. So let's say I want to make something with tofu this week as well. So I'm going to find my tofu recipe. So let's see here. Hmm, what do I want to make? Oh, a tofu stew looks good. So we're going to click on there. Let's see what our recipe looks like. We need onions, garlic, olive oil. 
all of those things sound super delicious, quite easy to make. So yes, I'm gonna make this this week. So I'm gonna add it to my week. I'm gonna make it on, let's say Thursday. So I'm gonna add it to my 10, save it. And now I'm gonna add this also to my shopping list to make sure I have the ingredients on hand that I need. We're gonna go back to our shopping list here. We're gonna go back to our recipe. And then we're gonna see what we need. So we're gonna go to our tofu stew. I need carrots, I need courgettes. Don't need basil, don't need oregano. I need tofu, don't need garlic, don't need black pepper. I do need mushrooms, don't need olive oil, do need onions, I have salt. I don't have tomatoes, I have a vegetable stock paste, and I have white wine in the house. So let's say those are the two items that I know I'm gonna make, and now I want to send my shopping list to my partner to go and grab groceries on his way home from work. So I can click on my options here, and I can share it to him via text, or I can uh, print it, or if I wanna clear everything, I can clear everything. So. That is one amazing feature of Cook I Do. Uh, the other amazing feature when you are looking at recipes, you can create collections, which are basically your cooking, uh, cooking books. Uh, so I've created a bunch of recipes, but um, you can add as many as you would like. So as an example, I have a collection uh, of spices and pantries, pantry items. So this basically here is almost like your, um, uh, it's a spicy chili paste. Potent, very, very potent. Uh, we've got curry powder here. We've got gluten-free baking powder. We've got clarified butter, non-stick paste, umami paste. So you can add as many things to your collections as you would like. Um, I got lots of chicken recipes on here as well. Butter chicken, chicken curry, turkey meatballs, creamy mushroom and chicken zoodles. So many delicious things. Uh, veggie lovers. We have cauliflower rice. Cooking cauliflower rice in your Thermomix is, I don't know why I didn't get my Thermomix even sooner. <laughs> um, green beans. So you can steam veggies as well using this Varoma tray here and it sits on top of your sits on top of your lid like so, and uh, as you're cooking rice or potatoes in your bowl, you can also steam veggies or steam fish or other items you can bake as well in it. Um, and I've got, of course, my must-make-again recipes. So these are things that I have tried that I absolutely adore um, and that I want to make again. Um, and then one more thing I just want to show you really quickly here. We've got about a minute 29 left on our mac and cheese sauce. Um, I am going to show you if you want to filter your, uh, your recipes. So let's say I want to make something with chocolate. So I'm going to type in chocolate. Right there. And then we've got filters. So here, it automatically chooses English and French because we are in Canada. But let's say I want to look for a certain chocolate, like a dairy-free recipe. So I would type in dairy-free. And then again, we have 49 recipes that it came up with. So that is another great thing in terms of filters. So um, if you have any questions about Cook I Do or you have any questions about Thermomix, please do get a hold of me because I would love to provide you with a in-home virtual cooking experience and we can go through the ins and outs of our Thermomix and make a few recipes that would really be customized to your needs, to your dietary likes and uh, to something that maybe that your family would enjoy eating. Um, that way you can see exactly how Thermomix can fit into your lifestyle. I know for me, I love cooking. I'm quite the foodie and I'm pretty good around the kitchen, but having my TM6 has been a game changer. So, um, and life uh, in terms of saving money, saving time. That's what I'm talking about when it comes to a game changer. Um, all right, we are done here. So let's see what our machine tells us to do. So it is done guided cooking. 
I had 10 minutes. We're gonna transfer the sauce over the mac and cheese. So I'm gonna take the lid off. It's nice and hot. Well, there you go. You got a thickened, creamy truffle milk sauce that we're going to now pour over top without spilling. Now it does look like it's not going to fit, but it's gonna melt the cheese and I'm gonna stir it around and it will fill the casserole dish. <laughs> now this is half the recipe. The other half I already made this morning. So I'm just gonna turn this around here. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna take my spoon here and I'm just gonna stir it around to get sure that the creamy truffle sauce goes all around the mac and cheese. It's already getting super cheesy. And we're going to just make sure that it's evenly split around. And while I do that, I'm gonna hit the next button because we're gonna put some garlic butter and some crunchy topping into the mixing bowl so that I can create a crunchy topping for my mac and cheese. So, there we go. All right, next step. Super excited. All right, so we need butter. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, sorry guys. I put the butter away and forgot to grab it again. Now this is what my kitchen is usually like. All right, so we're gonna add um, half an ounce of butter into the mixing bowl. Let me just move this out of the way here. There we go. So this here, I'm going to add some garlic butter. It's a little bit more than I would like, but that is okay. And then I'm going to also add some of this topping. So I made this topping for um, salads or for crunchy toppings. It's made with a mixture of linseed, so flax seeds, um, also uh, pumpkin seeds and Parmesan cheese. So it's a great topping. All right, we're gonna hit the next button and then we're gonna add the measuring bowl or the lid on top. Hit the next button. This is just gonna mix it around for five seconds. Speed four and a half. There we go. So this basically creates a crumb, a crumble topping. Mix that there. Hi everybody that's watching. Hi Lori, hi Eileen, hi Pauline. All right, so this is what this looks like. Just created, I have a little bit more butter than I would have originally liked, but that's okay. So we are going to put this on top. I'm just gonna spread it around. And then this is gonna go into the oven. I will continue spreading this around here in a minute, but I'm gonna show you what the finished product looks like. So there you go. This here is my topping. Didn't do the greatest job with spreading it around, but I'm trying to rush here. <laughs> so then our mac and cheese basically looks like this. So I put this into the oven. It tells you here what to do. It says sprinkle the cornflakes over a macaroni and cheese. So your topping that you created. Um, and then you bake it for 25 minutes until bubbly and browned. So this here was in the oven for 25 minutes and then I actually finished it off with the broiler just to give it a nice brown crunchy topping. And if we were to cut into this or if we were to spoon into this, you can see how cheesy and delicious this is. And if you could smell, if there was something uh, that was created that we call smell-o-vision, <laughs> um, you would be in heaven right about now. So, <laughs> yes, and uh, Pauline is asking, or is mentioning that, yes, you can cook your pasta in the Thermomix. So it takes 10 minutes to boil the water. You boil the water for 10 minutes, and then you add the pasta right through, um, right through the lid. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm all over the place today. Um, you would add the pasta right through the lid uh, along with your salt, and it keeps cooking. So, um, yes, 
If you're still watching, thank you for sticking around this long. Um, if you have any questions, please do get a hold of me. I do have a giveaway happening right now as well. So if you want to book a cooking experience, the first two people that book a cooking experience with me before the end of day tomorrow will be, uh, will be winning a $20 gift card. Uh, either at Amazon, Starbucks, or we can figure something out. Um, but please do uh, let me know. There's absolutely no commitment to purchase the Thermomix. Um, I just love sharing my passion for cooking and showing you how well the Thermomix can fit into your lifestyle. Um, of course, if you do want to buy one, I would be very happy about that. Um, and myself as a consultant, um, I'm with you from beginning until whenever you'd like me to be. Uh, we do one-on-one uh, -on -one cooking experiences. We have cooking classes on Saturdays as well. So you can find our cooking classes in Eventbrite. Uh, yes, Eileen, me too. <laughs> uh, you can find uh, our cooking classes in Eventbrite. Next Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, we are going to be making a German, Aust Austrian, traditional Austrian uh, tart, Christmas tart. That is amazing and it's my own family recipe so uh, please do check us out on eventbrite if you look for the magic of thermomix you will find us um if you have any questions please do let me know and i hope you guys have an amazing sunday thank you for tuning in bye guys